Hello, today I will be giving a tour of my main fantasy bookshelf. So, it's over in this corner of the room. Here is a little sneak peek of the room, which I will probably eventually post videos of later, in the future at some point. Um, but right now, we're gonna focus on this fantasy bookshelf. So I have a couple of new additions. They're new for me, which is really exciting, and that's part of why I'm posting. Um, but first, I wanted to talk about kind of my organization. One is originally um, I had the Song of Ice and Fire stuff down at the bottom shelf there, which I have moved over here because it's kind of it's kind of a large collection, and I got some of these new dragons, and I wanted to be able to kind of display everything together, and it was too much for one shelf, so I've split that into these little shelves on this sort of Tansu chest, and these are the um, some special editions with the throne on top and the Dragonstone bookends, and the some of the Targaryen books and the Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, and then some of the main books, which... I do have the fifth book, but it does not actually match the room color scheme, so it currently sits behind. Yes, I'm very picky. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's what's moved from this bookshelf. Now on this bookshelf, I'm going to be going through each shelf. Uh, the first one at the very top is the Stormlight Archive shelf, which I absolutely love this series. It's by Brandon Sanderson. and. Um, it's one of my absolute favorites. So here we have the leather bounds of the first book, The Way of Kings. Um, and we have these uh, four books, which are the, the four main books that are out for the series right now. Um, these three I actually got signed at a book signing. And I eventually hope to get all of them signed. But for now, it's just those three. And I'm also waiting on um, some Kickstarter um, rewards which will help fill up the shelf and make it really cool so I'm very excited about that um, next is my Tolkien shelf my Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit shelf I actually recently kind of took a bunch of stuff off of this shelf including these little things that are currently on the ground um, I need to find a home for them but uh, right now I am kind of uh, displaying more I guess cleanly. There was just, there was a lot more going on before this, I swear. Um, and now it's just kind of focusing on this really nice pewter piece that I picked up a while ago um, of the Fellowship and specifically the leather bound of the Hobbit and this really beautiful leather bound of the Lord of the Rings. And of course, you know, the, the three special edition DVDs, which are the coolest out of all of them. They're so cool. No, I just love them so much. I can't not put them on there. And next, we have this third shelf, which actually has the new items that I am very excited about and are basically the reason why I decided to take this video in the first place, because uh, I'm going to try to slowly get into actually taking all of these videos for you guys so that you can see sort of some of my organization strategies and decorating ideas. Um, but for now, uh, I'm very excited about these three books. So these are the leather bounds um, for Elantris, which I'm currently reading. Um, and I'm three quarters of the way through. I'm really enjoying the book and it kind of, reading it right now kind of spurred me to just go ahead and actually buy the books and get the leather bounds that I have sort of been lusting after for <laughs> for years now so I'm like all right that's it you know what I'm just gonna buy these and um I picked up these two Mistborn books at the same time I'll eventually get the first one when it comes back into stock though I do actually have um the Mistborn here which is the hardcover that I purchased at a book signing um and got the the signature on as well so I have a signature on this book um, and again, I hope to eventually one day get signatures on all of these. Um, we'll see how well that goes. But um, these books are beautiful regardless. And I'm really enjoying just seeing them on my shelf. Um, I got them about a week ago. And so just seeing all the pretty gold and looking through them. They have all these beautiful um, art pieces in them. And that's just been really lovely. Um, also on this shelf currently which I believe will eventually probably just become a, a Brandon Sanderson shelf. 
Um, yeah, I'm debating about getting the Warbreaker um, leather bound, but but current, currently mulling over the, the bright purple on it and, and deciding whether or not that's gonna work, but we'll see. Um, but currently sharing this shelf is actually the um, Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks. Uh, this is a wonderful fantasy series, um, really great writing. I love the all the characters and the world building and especially the hard magic system. Um, which is actually one of the reasons why I love a lot of Brandon Sanderson stuff is the hard magic systems he comes up with are really fascinating to me. I love learning about them. This book series has a lot of the same stuff, so um, I, I put it on the same shelf. And then lastly is this extremely sad looking shelf, which is definitely not done. I should probably put a little sign here that just says under construction. Um, but right now it just has the name of the wind it has some witcher books and that's that's pretty much it but um it will have more books i just haven't decided which ones i want to put on there yet so that's that's kind of a we're not, we're not going to look there anymore it's too sad so we're focusing on on the positives here the good stuff so these these top three um i'm really happy with i'm also really happy with how this sort of side uh, Song and Ice and Fire stuff came out. And um, eventually I'll try to do a little video um, for you guys of maybe this shelf and some of my other shelves around the house and all the little things that I like to display. So that's it. And um, until next time, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.